Dear friends, I am S. Kumar, Deputy Director of FSSI Western Region and I have been given the topic proprietary foods. FSSI is always to resolve the complexity of the law under the framework of the FSS Act keeping in mind the safety of the masses. Recently FSSI has focused on solving the long awaited demand of the industries and confusion prevailing regarding the proprietary foods. The proprietary food is given in section 22 of the F Food Safety and Standard Act and has been defined as proprietary food means an article of food for which the standards have not been laid down under the act and but it is not unsafe. Provided that the food does not contain any food or any ingredients prohibited under the act and rules and regulation made there under. Hence it was very difficult to get a license to these products which were manufactured with a slight variation in the ingredients other than the specified product under the act. The product to this category of the product was given, the license to this category of the product was given under section 22 of the act with the prior approval of the product from product approval division of FSSAI. The product approval division assessed the safety of the product on the basis of the information provided by the food business operator and hence after getting the this product approval only then they were be given the license. This process of issuance of the product approval was a time consuming and the barrier to produce variety of the products which were differing in ingredients from the standardized product. To overcome this problem FSSAI has given another definition of the proprietary foods to in, in, in order to overcome this problem that how, what the product if the pro, all the products will be the unit you know, differing in, this, in some or other ingredients then every product may be the proprietary food. So to overcome this problem FSA has given the new definition of the proprietary food. According to this new definition all the food the proprietary food is the food that has not been standardized under these regulations but does not include novel foods food for special dietary uses, food for special med medical purposes, functional food, nutraceutical health supplement and such other foods which the go central government may notify in this behalf as per requirements of section 22 of the act. Provided that the product shell belongs to the specified category or subcategory under the rules and regulations and but the one condition was given that the quality parameter should not differ from the standardized product. Proprietary food shall contains only those ingredients which are permitted under the act. Any additives if it is to be added in the proprietary food they should belong to that category or subcategory to which the food is belonging. The microbial content of the proprietary food shall also qualify to that category to which the product is belonging. And another thing that the proprietary food shall be the food which is safe, it is to be decided by the food business operators. The food business operators will be wholly responsible for any unsafe proprietary food, they will be responsible. No health claim shall be made in, in respect to the proprietary foods either on the product level or otherwise unless it has adequate scientific evidence. The proprietary food can include any protein, any vitamins or minerals but not exceeding one RDA limit of that micronutrient. With these all new definitions many of the food business operator has given liberty to manufacture the food of their own choice of their own specialty but keeping in mind the safety aspect of the food for safe human consumption. Thank you.